Hey, what's up, Internet? I am going to start a new series on malware analysis. I'm going to start off super basic and eventually get into some pretty deep stuff. But for right now, let's go ahead and let's just do some, some basics. Real basic, real easy stuff. Uh, basically, let's say, let's get rid of some malware and let's detect some malware. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start up a virtual machine because, well, I just don't want to trash my computer and have to, like, re-image it or anything. So let's go ahead. I'm going to start up my little mal machine right here. Start that little guy up. Let me close this up. All right, so here we go. It's a virtual machine. Um, there's like tons of information on how to actually create a virtual machine, how to load it up and do all that stuff. If you really need help with it, uh, just put some comments and, and I'll do one on virtual machines. It's really easy, but hey, you never know, right? All right, anyways, um, let me see here. There is... A link here let me open this up okay this is like a fresh install of Windows 7 so like I think I still have like Internet Explorer like 9 or whatever I don't even have Chrome or anything as you can see set up Internet Explorer 9 yeah woohoo Internet Exploder hooray all right so let's say okay yeah go away Microsoft you're drunk okay so here we go I was on Facebook earlier today let me see if I can get that little link here I have it up on my other screen that I'm not capturing right now because well I don't want to have to edit out all my friends names or ask them hey man can I put you on YouTube so I don't even remember where that post is bear with me for a moment yay found it okay well I'm not gonna click it on my normal computer because if I do it's gonna open it up my normal I want to put it in here so let me highlight this let me get that link HTTP video tgcom.altervista.org happened morning.html and what the hell man okay that link is let me hover over HTTP video tgcom.altervista happened morning HTML all right oh yeah well it's kind of gross and stuff but whatever anyways this thing looks like Facebook right but it ain't it's like totally not it's this thing but okay let's click on the video right oh what's this restricted video please share oh okay yeah I'll share Eh, I'm feeling lazy. I don't want to log in. No, thanks. Oh, what's this? Oh, prepare and download. That must be the video, right? Oh, so we got to do step one and step two. Oh, we got to click run, right? Yeah, no. So, me being me, I wanted to see, okay, what the heck am I downloading here? This, like, sub lobster trap? Uh, that don't sound good, does it? It's FLV player. So, it's like Flash media player. Well, I already got Flash. Why do I need this? Well, let's check it out. Let's just save it. So I'm going to save as. And I'll put it my download. Ah, I'll put it on my desktop. Easier to find, right? I'll keep the name the same thing and I'll save it. So, okay. Well, that didn't take long to download. Let me close this. Uh, yes, I want to leave. Go away. So here it is, right? Let's just check some properties on it here. Yeah. Windows security file came from another computer yeah it's blocked unless you run it yeah right okay uh, digital signatures oh wow hey look there's an actual signature email address not available big surprise view certificate oh wow hey look we can install it uh, no anyway so yeah certificate hey it looks all legit looks like it's like real stuff right looks good well, let's check it out uh, virustotal.com a really awesome little website actually I guess it's not so little it's pretty big we can upload files up to 64 megs and it'll scan it with like 50 some different antivirus engines so let's do it okay let's scan it let's see what happens a 
la 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 la. Any day now. Well, it has to upload from this computer to there, so well, let's see what's going on. There we go. Okay, it's being analyzed now. So right now it's scanning it with like 50 different antivirus engines, and then it's going to report back to me. Hey, look, these two said, no, it's good. This one said, hey, there's something on here. This says it's not a virus, but it says it's, it found something. It said found adware. Uh-oh, what happened? We got some more. Trojan, well, that's not good. A downloader, well, that's not good. So, okay, this thing's going to run. It's going to do its thing, right? We got Trojans, clickers, downloaders, all this crap that we really don't want. We would have never known if we haven't uploaded it to this thing. Um, so, yeah, if you get any prompts to download anything off the Internet and you're like, don't know why, save it to your computer. If you really, really, really want to download it, I wouldn't download it to begin with, but if for some reason you did, save it and then upload it to this virus total let the thing do a scan like look there's like this thing says 19 different like types of viruses 19 engines found something bad on that even though some of these other ones they said hey no problem it didn't but anything that says trojan yeah stay away from it anything this pua which is potentially unwanted application yeah adware yeah no it's all bad don't do it you just make yourself insane with these trojans and these downloaders and riskware and all this stuff basically well at least the da uh, the downloader and the trojans what they'll do is they'll download other programs onto your computer so you'll have all these icons popping up you'll be like what the heck man i didn't put this stuff in here where's this coming from it's coming from these trojans they're doing it without you doing anything. That's how these people get into your computers and like make a mess of stuff. Steal your stuff if they want it to. Anyways, yeah, so no, don't install this stuff. And if you want it to follow along and type in that same URL and whatnot, um, I won't put it in the description because I don't want to accidentally give anybody any type of viruses or anything like that. But if you do, make sure you load up a virtual machine don't put it on your normal machine because if you do you're gonna really mess it up that's not cool you don't want to mess up your own computer all right uh in the next video i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna install this thing and we're gonna see the changes that it makes to the computer the tools that i'm going to use are completely open source which means they're free you don't have to pay for it check out the next video Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions or just complaints or anything, just put them in the post and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.